Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charles Peace. In today's video, we'll be making a beautiful 1,440 degrees peplum with a crinoline. So guys, we'll be using this fabric for the tutorial and a crinoline. Of course, you know you use your matching thread. So for the crinoline, I'm using two inches. So you can go ahead and use the size you want. There is the one of three inches two inches and one inch crinoline so let's get to work so guys if you have been following me on this channel you will observe that i've done 360 degrees peplum 720 degrees peplum and now we're about to do 1440 degrees peplum now to achieve your 1440 degrees peplum that's 360 degrees 360 times 4 will give you 1440 degrees peplum so we are, we are not going to cut the 1440 degrees peplum at once it's not easy to achieve that it's not possible so what we're gonna do is to cut 360 degrees peplum into four pieces four pieces of it will give me 1440 degrees peplum so i'll go ahead and cut for the measurements i need the waist measurement I'm working with will be 32 inches. Divided by 4 will give me 8 inches. That means each of the peplum, the circumference of the waistline, that is the radius for the cotton, will be 8 inches. So I will measure out the radius that will give me 8 inches. So what do I mean? Watch me as I do that. I folded my fabric into four and what I have here, my measurement is 11 by 11. 11 for the length and 11 for the width. And I'll go ahead and use my pin to hold it. Now for the radius here, remember I'm working with 8 inches. And I folded my fabric into four. Now four divided by eight will give me two inches. So I will measure out two inches like so. Now the radius here, I have to measure the radius to get four inches. My fabric is folded into four. So I have to locate my two inches and I added extra half inch for the seam allowance. That is 2.5 inches. This is 2.5 inches. Yeah. Now for the radius, the radius here is one three quarter. This is one three quarter. This is for the waistline. Now for the length, I'll go ahead and measure. Nine three quarter here. So I'll take it round. Nine three quarter, nine three quarter. So I'll go ahead and join the lines together. Then I'll cut it out. I'm not going to cut the radius now until I cut out the remaining three pieces. So I'll go ahead and cut out the peplum. This is for one. So I'll cut out the remaining three of it to make it 144 inches. You can see? Now I'm cutting the second one.
Now I will place the double sided one to the double sided of this second one. Then I will cut. I've cut out two, remaining two. Now I've cut out the four pieces of the peplum. This is 360 into four pieces. So I'll go ahead and cut out the waistline. I've not removed the waistline from it. So I'll place all of them together. Then I'll go ahead and trim the waistline. Remember, I'm using 2.5 inches. So I've cut out the west line. So guys, I cut it in twos or you can cut it one one depending on how your scissors is. If you can cut it four, no problem. But I've cut it out. Now the next thing I'll do is to open it up. Now from the double sided part, I will just open up the upper one. In my previous video, I did 720 degrees with a crinoline. If you have not watched that one, you can as well watch it. I'll put the link at the description box. Just follow the steps. You will achieve a beautiful peplum. Okay. I'll open it up. Now you follow the same pattern to cut your lining. The same way you cut 360 into four pieces. That's how you will cut your lining. Unless you don't want to use a lining, you can just sew it like that. But I'll be cutting lining the same way I cut my peplum. So guys, I've actually cut out the lining for my peplum. The same way I cut out four pieces for my peplum, I cut out four pieces for the lining as well. So guys, I would advise if you are cutting, use the exact lining. I was not able to get this particular color in my fabric store. This is the one available, so I have to use it. We'll go ahead and open it up. Now the next thing I'll do is to join them together. I'll pick one from one side like so. I'll open up the second one. I'll use my pin to hold it. I'm going to join this edge. I'll open it up. And as we pick the third one, I'll place it right side facing each other on top of the second one. Remember, this is a third one now. I'm just holding only one side of each of them. Then I'll open it up again. Then bring the last one. This is the last peplum, right side facing each other. I will swear hold it together with pin. It's my office pin. By the time I join it together, I have my 
144 degrees peplum. Can see? I'll keep it aside. I'll do the same thing to the lining. Place the second one on top. I'll open it up. Now this is the last one. I was well hold it together with my office pin. Okay, I'm sure. The next thing I will do is to go to my sewing machine and join all these pin edges. The same thing to the main fabric. The same thing I'll do to the main fabric. I'll join it, leaving the two first and the last side open. You can see these two edges, leaving it open. After then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. So I'll go and sew it. After then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. Now I've joined the edges. You can see. I'll go ahead and remove the pin. I'm now having full 1,440 degrees peplum. You can see. Now the next thing I'll do is to place it like so now i'll place the right side of the fabric to the right side of the lining together i'll place it like so then i'll place my crinoline i'll place it like so and so together with the lining and the main fabric. You can see. I'll go to my sewing machine now and sew. After then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. Now I've joined it. So the next thing I'll do is to open it up. From the lining side, I'll top stitch. From the inside not the outside i'll place it like so and top stitch from the lining side so that it will lap very well so i'll go to my sewing machine and top stitch on it then after then i'll show you the next thing i'll do so i've top stitch from the lining side i've top stitch it round the next thing I'll do is to close up the edges. I'll go ahead and fold it because of the crinoline here. I'll give it a space to fold it in. Then I'll close it up so that by the time I turn it, it will be like this. So that the lining will not show. You can see that. So I'll fold it in like so. And so the same thing to the second side, the same thing to the second side, I'll fold it in and close it up. After then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. So guys, I've closed up this edge, the same thing to the second side. Just trim off the excess thread. By the time I Close it up. I'll turn it to the right side. I want to cut off the crinoline side. 
just have to open it up to separate it. Now I'll go ahead and turn it to the right side. Now I've turned it to the right side, you can see this is the right side and this is the lining side. The next thing I'll do is to give it a good ironing. After then, I'll top stitch from the waistline. I'll top stitch these edges round. After it, I will show you the final look of the 1440 degrees peplum. So guys, this is the picture of the 1440 degrees peplum that we've just made. I hope this video is helpful. You can see how beautiful it looks. Make sure you try yours. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Then you can go ahead and attach it to your top to your gown anyhow you want to fix it make sure you make yours <laughs> i would like to see the picture of the one you have made in my facebook group join me on my facebook group at elegant styles and tutorial elegant and styles is together i wrote elegant and styles together then tutorial elegant fashion elegant styles and tutorial so guys, I would like to see the picture of the one you have made. Don't forget to subscribe and continue watching Elegant Fashion Tutorial. Bye until I see my next video. And God bless you. So guys, you can also use this at your flounce. You can see.